in arithmetic we have seen how can we write a number as a product of its prime factors we have learned a similar thing for algebra if we have a term we can write that term in its product form that is as a product of its irreducible factors but what if we have expressions containing more than one term do these expressions also have factors can we write these expressions as a product of their factors well yes we can and we'll also learn how to do it so if we have p into q plus r we can write it as pq plus pr but observe that this is the same expression which we had earlier coming from here to here is multiplication that is p into q plus r is equal to pq plus pr now if we can write pq plus pr as p into q plus r then p is a factor of pq plus pr and q plus r is a factor of pq plus pr because these are getting multiplied to get pq plus pr and this process is known as factorization so going from here to here is multiplication coming back from here to here is factorization so when we multiply things we combine expressions to get one expression and when we factorize expressions we break them down into their component factors so p into q plus r gives us pq plus pr this is multiplication and when we break down pq plus pr to get p and q plus r this is factorization what are the factors of pq plus pr p is a factor and q plus r is a factor so there are two factors p and q plus r and this process is factorization and how do we go about it observe that here p is multiplied with q and p is multiplied with r so p is multiplied with q as well as r so p is a factor of pq and p is a factor of pr we can say that p is a common factor of pq and pr in short we say that p is common to both pq and pr and we can write it as p into q plus r so this is the simplest method of factorization which is by taking the common factor of all the terms outside and writing the remaining part within the brackets let us see how we can factorize this expression so it has two terms 6p square qq and negative 15p q square so the first step is to write these two in the product form that is in terms of the irreducible factors next we see what are the common things which we have here so there is a 3 common between these two terms we have a p common between these two terms we have a q common between these two terms and we have one more q common between these two terms so we have marked out all the common factors between these two terms so what are we actually doing we are actually calculating the hcf which is the highest common factor of these two terms and the highest common factor of these two terms is the product of these which is 3 into p into q into q that is 3 pq square so the hcf of 6 p square q cube and negative 15 pq square is 3 pq square this is the hcf so 3 pq square is the highest common factor of these two terms this means that 3 pq square is a factor of this and it is a factor of this this means that d 
these two terms can be written as 3pq square into something. So the next step is to find this something. How do we do it? 6p square q cube. We take 3pq square from it. So what is left? We have a 2, a p and a q here. So we are left with 2pq. Once we have taken out 3pq square. So 6p square q cube can be written as 3pq square into 2pq. 2pq. Now negative 15pq square. So we have taken 3pq square from it. So what are we left with? There is a negative 1 and a 5. That is all. So we can write it as 3pq square into negative 5. So this is what we have. So we have written these two terms as a product of the HCF of the two terms and the remaining parts. Now this expression is the sum of these two terms. So let us write it as the sum of these two terms. And now we write these two terms as HCF into whatever is left. HCF into whatever is left. So 3pq square is multiplied with both. So we can take 3pq square common. That is we can take the HCF common and write the remaining parts within the bracket. So we can write the remaining parts within the brackets. Because this means 3pq square multiplied with this, which is this part, plus 3pq square multiplied with negative 5, which is this part. So this is the same as this. So we write it as HCF into sum of the remaining parts. And now we can simplify it to get this. Plus negative 5 gives us minus 5. So this is the factorized form of this expression. This is the factorized form of this expression. We have taken the HCF common and written the remaining parts within the bracket. And this is the simplest method of factorization. Now factorize 3AB minus 15BC. Now we need to factorize this expression. So first see what are the two terms. The terms are 3AB and negative 15BC. Next we write it down in terms of the product of its irreducible factors. So 3AB can be written as 3 into A into B. Minus 15 BC can be written as negative 5 into 3 into B into C. So B into C. We need to find the HCF. So we mark out the common factors which is 3 and B. Is there any other common factor? No. So the HCF of these two terms is 3B. So we can write 3AB plus negative 15BC as 3B into what is left? And A is left here. 3B into A plus 3B into what is left? Negative 5 into C is left here. So negative 5C. Now 3B is common to both. So we can take 3B common and we can write it as A plus negative 5C which is A minus 5C. So this 
is the factorized form of this expression. 3ab minus 15bc is equal to 3b into a minus 5c. You can again multiply it and cross check your answer. You will get this expression. So till now we had factorized expressions containing two terms. In a similar manner we can factorize expressions containing any number of terms. So let us try and factorize this expression containing three terms. So as always we need to find the HCF of these three terms. We have already learned that HCF of any number of terms is equal to the HCF of numerical part into the HCF of algebraic part so for finding the HCF of these three terms we first need to find the HCF of the numerical parts of these three terms then we need to find the HCF of algebraic parts of these three terms and then multiply it. So let us find the HCF of 18, negative 24 and 36. So we write it as 18, negative 24, 36. We see that we can, we can divide all 3 by 2. So this is 9, this is negative 12 and this is 18. Again 3 is a factor of all 3. So 3, we have 3, negative 4, 6. Is there any other common factor? 2 is a common factor of these 2 but not this. 3 is a common factor of these 2 but not this. So there is no other common factor. So the HCF is given by 2 into 3. 2 into 3 which is equal to 6. So the HCF of numerical part is 6. Now let us calculate the HCF of algebraic part. Let us write the variables of all three terms in columns and now see what variables are common to all three terms. So x is common to all three terms and we take the lowest power of x which is x square. y is common to all three terms and what is the lowest power of y? y to the power 5. So the HCF of algebraic part is x square into y to the power 5. This is the HCF of algebraic part. So the HCF of these three terms will be equal to 6 into x square into y to the power 5. 6 x square y to the power 5. This is the HCF of these three terms. So, we have found our HCF. What is the next step? The next step is to represent these three terms as a product of their HCF and something. How can we do it? So, 18 x to the power 5 y to the power 7 is HCF into something. We can find that something by dividing it by HCF. So what do we get? 18 by 6 gives us 3. x to the power 5 by x to the power 2 gives us x cube. y to the power 7 divided by y to the power 5 gives us y square. So this is what we have. We can also do it directly. How? We write it as 6 x square y to the power 5 into something. Now 6 into something gives us 18. So that is 3. 6 into 3 gives us 18. We have x to the power 5 here. We have already taken an x square. What are we left with? We are left with x cube. We have y to the power 7 here. We have already taken y to the power 5. So what is left? We have 
a y square term left over here so this is what we have next we can write it as hcf which is 6x square y to the power 5 into something again negative 24 is 6 into negative 4 we have x square here we have taken x square so there is no more x we have y to the power 6 we have taken y to the power 5 so we have a y left so this is what we have what about the next term 36 is 6 into 6 x to the power 4 is here we have already taken x square so we are left with x square term y to the power 5 is here we have already taken y to the power 5 so there is no y term so we have these three as the remaining parts so we write it like this now we add both the sides so adding the left hand side we get this 18 x to the power 5 y to the power 7 plus negative 24 x square y to the power 6 plus 36 x to the power 4 y to the power 5 this is equal to the sum of these now all these have 6 x square y to the power 5 common so we can take 6 x square y to the power 5 common and write the remaining parts within brackets that is 3 x cube y square plus negative 4y plus 6x square this is what we have and now we can simplify it plus and minus give us minus so this is our expression over here also plus negative 4y gives us minus 4y so this is the factorized form of this expression and here we have factored an expression containing three terms in a similar manner we can factor an expression containing any number of terms